Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? For this Amy All April video, I just wanted to film something super quick and kind of fill a request because I mentioned recently in my what's in my basket of shame video that I've been using a lot of the same products over and over and not reaching for new things as much recently. And I got a few comments of people saying they'd love to see what I've been loving, what I've actually been using up because I feel like that is super interesting to watch someone who does beauty and makeup for a living and to know like what products do you actually continuously go back to again and again and again. So I have things that I love that I'm making good usage on, things that I dislike that I'm making good usage on. I have a few completely empty products which I'll talk about and whether I repurchase them or not. So kind of like a little hodgepodge situation but I'm just excited to share with you. And I also got some requests to do a update to my project pan from last year which I never did because it took me a while to hit pan and the things that I wanted to hit pan on but I'll share the products that I did make a difference with today so let's just go ahead and jump right on in okay so I'm just gonna do this pretty randomly one of the products that was in my project pan was the Becca first light priming filter and this was completely full but now it is currently right here and I feel like I'm doing a decent job of getting use out of it and using it nearly every day I have a lot of glowy primers that I love so this one is not my absolute favorite but it's still a good product it's not like I don't like using it there's just things that I like more I feel like within another month or two that'll probably be empty I feel like this one's pretty redundant because I keep mentioning it, but it's the foundation that goes on and on and on, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I am so close to being done. It's finally at the part where when you start like squeezing that it like doesn't want to come out. And I already repurchased a backup of this one. I have the shade Fair. Not the perfect shade for me, but I mix it. And I also thought I would go ahead and mention this is kind of surprising. I don't love this product, but it's always in front of me when I'm filming. So I continue to use it again and again because I have very crusty lips. So this is the Glossier Mango Balm.com. And I bought this because I heard a lot of hype about this lip balm. I really don't think that it's anything special. I like that it has the mango scent because I really like mangoes. So I would say that I'm almost halfway done this lip balm, which is pretty good. And like I said, I normally just use this for lip prep. I actually have another lip balm in my bathroom, um, like a little min mini Laneige, Laneige sample um, that I've almost finished as well. And then another product would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. And I know it looks very full right now, but it just fills up with air. When I have to actually get product out of it, I can go all the way up to here, and that's about how much product is left. So, oops, it's coming out. I would say I'm like over three quarters of the way done with this eye primer. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. I do like it, but I have a ton of other primers that I already own that I also like that get the job done. And I think I've been hearing, and I could see it, I could like see the resemblance, although I have not put them side by side, that the new Juvia's Place eye primer is actually a dupe for the ABH one. I did a comparison of this to the P. Louise base, and this one looked way better, spoiler alert. I'll leave the video in the cards here in case you're curious, but if you guys want me to do another wear test and compare these two, I can totally do that because I'm actually pretty curious myself. I kind of want to do it on my own time, so if you want to see a video of it, let me know. I guess I could mention this too. I'm pretty sure when I first got this Danessa Myricks Hydrating Lotion, that like the little pumpy thing was all the way at the bottom, so it looks like I'm about halfway through this. This is the Prism FX Hydrating Lotion, and I do really like this primer as well. It's super beautiful. My current favorite hydrating primer is the Aura Glow Lust. I just think they look beautiful. That's what I have on my face today and I didn't apply any foundation. I just put that on underneath and then I did a little bit, well, a decent amount of concealer underneath my eyes, a little on my um, nose, my forehead and my chin just for a little bit of coverage. But overall, like my base is the Aura Glow Lust and I just think they are so, so good. But I do really love this product as well and I definitely can see myself finishing this maybe by the end of the year if I had to guess. I feel like a little goes a long way with that. And then another product that was in my project pan that I did pan and I'm pretty happy about is the Full Brow Brow Powder in the shade Taupe. And I actually panned a little heart because I don't know what's wrong with me. And ever since I panned the heart, I've been like going around so slowly getting more and more use out of it. But I mean, this just works. It's what I like using in my brows along with the Essence Brow Gel. Um, this little product, which I've repurchased like four times but um, I feel like it's gonna take 10 years to get through this. Like, 
if you use brow powder, is it not ridiculous how long this lasts for? Like I could buy a brow powder, this one was sent in PR, but I could buy one and it lasts for like four years. Just, I mean, I do have more full brows, but still. Versus a brow pencil, which is so easy to go through in like six months. So I feel like if you can get away with brow powder, it's, it's definitely the more cost effective solution. And then a product that I have completely finished and it looks kind of gross, but I've been saving this in my empties bucket. And I thought I would just mention it here. This is the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. And I did completely finish this one. I repurchased it already. I use it pretty much every single day. When I finish that one, I'll repurchase it again. It is a little bit more expensive than like if you went to the drugstore and just picked up a sunscreen. I think it's like $30, but my skin is not sensitive to the sunscreen at all. I feel like makeup layer is pretty nice over it. I'll normally throw on sunscreen like 30 minutes before I'm getting ready along with my moisturizer and let it soak in a little bit but it doesn't end up like getting weird or anything. And I just really, really love this sunscreen. Before I started using it, I was really bad about not using sunscreen every day. In fact, I barely ever used it when I really should be using it every single day. So I feel like this kind of changed me and helped me have a really healthy habit because so many other sunscreens I've tried in the past felt greasy or I felt like they would make my skin break out, but this is just so good. Another product that was in my project pan for last year is the Fenty Beauty Into Sun Bronzer and I am happy to report that we have some pan and the pan is slowly growing. This is not a favorite bronzer for me. I just like it. I think it's good. I don't think that when I eventually maybe one day finish it that I will repurchase it because there's other things that I like more and other things that I feel blend a little bit better. But it could also be that a lot of times I don't like to set my face and this works better over a set face. But yeah, I hit pan. I'm happy. It took me about, I think like two months into 2021 to hit pan on it. Um, but I really did use it so consistently last year and now I'm still using it consistently because it's just fun to see the pan grow. Um, and I mean, I feel like hitting pan in a bronzer is something to celebrate, okay? <laughs> okay, I have two eyeshadow palettes here that I wanna mention and I have not hit pan on anything. There is a shade I feel like I'm gonna hit pan on soon, but they've just been the eyeshadow palettes I've been reaching for over and over and over again. I think this first one you will not be surprised at all because I've mentioned it so many times, the Cine Grace Enduring Love palette. I just love this so, so much. Here is what it looks like and I feel like I am super close to hitting pan in Romeo and I'm not sure how far down these shadows go. They are pretty large shadows, but I'm guessing that probably maybe in like the next month I'll hit pan in that. And I do have Romeo on as my inner corner highlight today and as my cheek highlight as well, which I love using it on the cheeks. And I also have a dip going in Juliet. Um, the other matte shades, you really can't see the usage as much, but I have just been using this palette all the time. It's one of my favorite palettes ever. And then the other one that I wanted to mention is the Club Nebula palette, the Kaleidos and Annual Canique Fist collaboration. I love this. I mean, I was expecting to love it just because of like what it represents. I love Angie, all that, but it's so good. I cannot stop going back to this palette, especially the deepening matte shades here, this deep green, deep blue, and deep purple. Every single time I have a look and I'm like, oh man, I wish I had a deep purple. Oh man, I wish I had a deep blue. I wish I had, a, like, I just keep going back to those shades over and over again and they just work so well. They're just like the perfect undertone. They blend really beautifully. I also really like mixing the purple and the blue together to get like a very pretty indigo shade. So I've been reaching for that a ton. And then I also have like a little dip going in the neutral shade right here just cause it's such a cool, cool <laughs> undertone. And I really, really like using that one. I guess I would say, even though I love this palette as a standalone palette and I've done plenty of beautiful looks with it just by itself, I feel like it is such a good companion palette that I keep going back to, whether you're looking for beautiful inner corner shades, deepening shades. Okay, some other products that I've used up all the way. I also finished a sample of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. That one was completely gone. I finished up the Wonder Hara Haru Wonder Honey Green Aqua Balm Cream. And I wanna say I got this in an Ipsy a hot minute ago. I think that this is supposed to be a moisturizer, but I kind of used it as a primer. I finished it up. It was very thin 
didn't really give me the hydration I needed, so it's not something I could see repurchasing or anything, but I liked it enough. And then I've also finished up one of the Tarte Shape Tapes, and I took the stopper out of this and everything, and I've got all the product out of it that I possibly can. So yeah, that's a favorite, but I feel like they changed the formula because I have um, already repurchased this and it feels like it's drier now. Okay, I have one more product that I hit pan on that I'm gonna save towards the end, but I figured I'd just throw these in even though you can't see usage and you probably won't for a while. If you know me, you know that I love Ofra highlighters. I talk about them all the time. They've just been holy grail for me for so long and um, I've hit pan on Pillow Talk and then it broke. I've hit pan on Glazed Donut and I just feel like I'm going to eventually hit pan again. Like I just feel it because it's one of my favorite highlights ever. So I have Pillow Talk here and Ofra did go ahead and send me over a new one. It was super sweet. They sent an email and they were like, girl, girl. <laughs> my old Pillow Talk was a hot mess. So again, I've been using this a ton. You can't see it at all currently, but I promise you that I have just been loving this. And then while I was here, I just had to mention and just like an, a quick update because I did a first impression on this, the Ofra Time Steph Tom's Milk and Cookies highlighter. I did not expect to love this and I love the lighter side of this highlight so much. It's like the prettiest neutral bronze shade ever. I just absolutely adore this highlight. Every time I'm wearing more of like a warm or a neutral look, I want to reach for this highlight. I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin. So I thought I would update you that that has also been a favorite I've been reaching for a ton. I mean, you can see like a little bit of like messiness on the pan, but you can't really see a bunch of use, but I have been reaching for this over and over. And I actually had a funny conversation I just thought I'd throw in here because it really made me laugh. Me and um, Karen Harris, we're good friends. If you don't watch her, I'll leave her channel link down below. But she purchased this as well and she was talking about how she really loves the deeper side and she has not even tried the lighter side yet. And I'm like, I love the lighter side and the deeper side's just a little bit too deep for me. So I'll say, girl, one day if I finish up the lighter side and you finish up the deeper side, we can switch and start over. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention this. Look, you guys, look at my little baby pixie liner. I love this. It's such a good gel, like creamy formula, super pigmented. I normally use this in the waterline, and I mean, it's just getting shorter and shorter. And then last but not least, what inspired me to really go out of my way to film this video today is that I hit pan on another bronzer, my second bronzer this year. Who? Am I? I guess that's what happens when you try to buy less makeup. So the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer in the shade Fair, I've talked about loving this. It's one of my favorite Holy Grail mainstream products just because the shade is so perfect for me. Dun dun, oh dang it, dun dun dun. So yes, I have a, I mean I have a huge dip. I feel like this pan is gonna grow pretty fast because it looks like the actual product in the pan is very thin, but I was definitely really happy to see that. I am wearing this bronzer today and yeah, yeah, I hit pan on it. So that is everything for today's video. The products that I've used up, am using up, getting good usage out of. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video yet, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying Amy all April so far, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.